Hi, today we're going to take a look at using the distance formula to help prove that we in fact have a parallelogram here. So what is the distance formula? We have distance equals the square root x2 minus x1, square it, plus y2 minus y1, square that whole thing. We need to do this to all four sides. So when we find the distance up here and the distance down here, if these are both the same number, awesome. But when we do it to the seconds to the sides over, over here, if they are the same as well, having both pairs of opposite sides congruent to each other, you in fact have a parallelogram. So let's try some of this out. Uh, let's start with our top line. So inside, we're going to say our x is 4 minus negative 3. 4 minus negative 3. Square it plus our y's now. 5 minus 4, 5 minus 4, square it, and then let's simplify a little. That's a plus. 4 plus 3 gives us 7. Square root that, we get 49. 5 minus 4 is 1. Square it, you get that, 1. And then square root of 50. We could simplify it, but who cares? It doesn't really even matter. We don't need, we don't need to go further. Let's do it again on the bottom. Here we have x's first. We're going to say 5 minus negative 2. Square it. Plus, now our y's, negative 1 minus negative 2. Square it. Change them to our plus signs, leaving us with 5 and 2 gives us 7 again, which is 7 squared is 49. Plus, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1. Put those together, and we get square root of 50. We could simplify. Who cares? I know that these two are the same as it is right now. So right now, these opposite sides here are congruent. We need to do that again. So here, let's write that. Square root of 50, square root 50. Let's check the sides. Um, first one over here, we're going to look at our x's. We're going to say square root uh, 4 minus 5. How about that? 4 minus 5, square it, plus our y's. Let's go in the same order. 5 minus negative 1. Turn that to a plus. Leaving us with 4 minus 5 is negative 1, but square it, you get 1. Plus 5 plus 1 is 6. Square that, you get 36. And that's the same thing as saying square root of 37. Don't know, don't know what it is, don't care. Let's see if this side matches up. Okay, we're looking at our x's first. 4, nope, negative 3 minus negative 2. Negative 3 minus negative 2. Square it. Our y's now, we're going to say, we started with negative 3, but we're going to say 4 minus negative 2. Square it. Uh, negative negative is a plus. Plus 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Square that. You get 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 squared is 36 leaving us with square root of 37, which those two things match up. Now, because opposite sides are the same, they are congruent to each other, we in fact have a parallelogram, and we use a distance formula to help get there.